Governor Greg Abbott has issued an executive order directing the National Guard and state troopers to detain border crossers who avoid ports of entry and turn them over to federal agents back at the border. The governor's political critics call his move a political stunt, but it's still setting up a legal showdown with the federal government. And Fox Force Stephen Dial joins us live with more tonight. Stephen. Yeah, experts on both sides indicate that this will ultimately be challenged in federal court, that executive order issued by Governor Abbott today. And this also comes as some Republicans are pressuring the governor to declare the surge and call it an invasion. The surge of illegal crossings at the southern border is showing no sign of slowing down. In May, according to the most recent numbers, U.S. Customs and Border Protection reported nearly 240,000 encounters, mostly in Texas, an all-time high. It's also caused Governor Abbott's supporters to pressure him to do more. Multiple border county leaders want the migrant surge declared an invasion, believing that it will trigger a constitutional mandate for more federal border resources. Instead, Governor Abbott issued an executive order authorizing the Texas National Guard and state troopers to apprehend and return immigrants who illegally cross back to the ports of entry. What the governor is trying to do is the governor is trying to take them back to the port of entry, force them to uh, make a legal entry. Brandon Judd is the president of the National Border Patrol Council and has appeared in political ads on behalf of Governor Abbott. Judd says prior to this order, state law enforcement would call Border Patrol, who would then handle transporting the migrants back to the port of entry. They're not apprehending for a federal crime. They are finding them, they are apprehending them for committing a state crime, which they have the authority to do. Now, if they then determine that they're in the country illegally, they take them back to the port of entry and they turn them over to, uh, to federal officials. <laughs> But what's missing from Thursday's announcement is any mention of Governor Abbott's mass arrests of border crossers for criminal trespass. A group of those arrested by state troopers under Operation Lone Star have sued in federal court, claiming they were held in custody even after posting bond or having their charges dismissed. SMU law professor Eric Cedillo says Thursday's executive order will also be challenged in federal court. Under Operation Lone Star, at the very least, he could assert that they were trespassing, and that's a state law, violative, so they could be detained and picked up. In this context, he's saying federal law is being violated, we're going to have state police pick you up, and I think that's where he's gone too far. Now, DPS troopers will be one of the main state law enforcement agencies doing this. We reached out to DPS and asked multiple questions. They only told us that they are following the governor's order and saying that they don't discuss basically their strategy tactics uh, with the public. Also, uh, some people have asked if they are transporting migrants, will this impact the bus program that Governor Abbott started months ago? Uh, the governor's office says it doesn't, and they have so far voluntarily bused nearly 4,000 migrants to D.C. Okay, good information, Stephen.